Hello ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and today I peek over into an untouched fandom. I think, I don't remember reacting to something from this before. I'm speaking about Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm sure you know what it is, the breakout, point and click, horror video game series that started in 2014 I believe. It's very popular, popular enough to get a lot of crossovers with MLP, such as this, Five Nights at Pinkies from DJ Bit 3 Five Nights at Pinkies seems to be a pretty broad, accepted idea because there's a lot of SFM videos, and I think actually a game, but these particular videos seem to be in the style of the show. There are three of them, all released last year, but I don't think it's a trilogy necessarily and the second one appears to be unfinished in some capacity. But from what I've seen, DJ Bit 3 is a solid animator. He has a lot of cool videos on his channel, such as a full-length confrontation video starring Pinky and Pinkamina, inspired by the Inkpots animatic. The puppets he uses are high quality, and he seems pretty consistent. So I bet we are in for something good here. Well, let's try to survive the night. All right, 3 a.m. Oh, Fluttershy, no! And the doctor, all right. Did he get a VA for this or was that already in the source? Oh, Tombstone, all right, yeah. Pinky's Pizzeria Party Playhouse. Nice. Missing Philly found. Oh. Aw, Derpy. Aw, Derpy is a homicidal robot. I love it. Oh, Cheese Sandwich is the Foxy, the pirate. I think. Oh, nice. Face. Oh. Good. I like the editing going on here. What is Dash doing? Is she just powered down right now? <laughs> We're having fun. We're just a fun, happy little band at our friendly, unassuming place of business. Um. Surprise! All right, uh, should probably close that door, uh, Fluttershy. Oh. <laughs> See, we have fun here. No need to worry. Okay, maybe you should worry a little bit. All right, if I know Five Nights, either it turns 6 a.m. or it's gonna jump scare me. I love Derpy's leg so much. Oh man. What does that mean? Ah! Dang it! My face is like right by the screen! Yeah! Yeah, thanks for. Yeah. Fluttershy! Poor Fluttershy! Come on! Why you gotta do that to her? Alright. I like. That was nice. That was, that was well put together. Solid editing, obvious but good song choice. Nice remix to use in the background, too. Uh, Derpy as a robot is great. I want to see more of her. Surprise was there. I don't know what she's doing. Uh, Pinky as Freddy, obviously. I can't equate the characters because I don't know the characters that well. But yeah, the, the, the puppets look really good. I like the, like, cracked face of Cheese Sandwich. Derpy's leg just, like, fractured in the middle. I look forward to part two, which was cut short for some reason, but we're gonna watch it anyway. I'm, cause I'm a rebel. Let's go. All right, 8 p.m. closing time. Nope, oh, the CMC minus Scootaloo, I think. Oh, there's a muffin on Derpy. Oh, was that the uh, the Philly from the last one, the missing one? Okay, all right, butt mash is the the balloon boy. To your office, all right. I like these models a lot. Okay, Pinky this time. And is that the discorded doctor? That's interesting. I don't know this song. Ugh. 
That's that's a little disturbing. That's a little disturbing. Oh no, dogs! Oh, another one, victim. This editing's really good. Oh, Derpy's still cute. You can't make Derpy not cute. Jesus, what was that? I don't want any of that. Giant spider monster, no. Wait, what? Fluttershy's back. What? All right, that was part two. It appears there was going to be a bit of a fight there, but it was not completed. If you want to see his reasoning, go to his original video. I definitely enjoyed the setup there, though. This one was darker than the last one. Uh, I'm okay with that. Between the first and the second one, I guess the doctor had seen some bad stuff, man. I don't think he'll be returning again, but Pinky and Fluttershy might. I'm not sure what was supposed to happen to them at the end of this one. I guess we have to watch part three to find out. All right. Wait. Is that the doctor? You should fix your hole, sir. There's a leak in the wall. Also, you have a limp. Should probably work on that. All right. Is it like a cyborg? Tell me, camera. Tell me your secrets. BNY 2000. Cameras. Sound system. Not the doctor. Gonna go ahead and confirm that. Oh. Beating heart. It is a cyborg. Alright. Never go into the off-limits place. There's a reason. Oh! 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 That's his OC. Or it's the, you know, abomination, mechanically infused version of his OC. And Twilight's the victim now. Oh no, Pinkie Pie! She's missing! Uh... Uh, just, just close the vents. We'll be fine. Oh, God. All right, surprise. Oh, yeah, this one has, like, the fake outs. I haven't seen a lot of gameplay from... two or three, really. Oh, man, this is dark. Uh, grab the derby mask. You are just the... average... Robotic mail mare. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Scream in my ear, why don't you? Poor Twilight. Alright, I have no idea what happened to Pinky and Fluttershy then. That's a that's a this is a pleasant image right here. I love it. You know, it's just look at the joy and life in their eyes. That spider ceiling thing, that's that's the worst. That's an effective jeez. Uh Alrighty then, that was part three. Interesting way to close this video. All good things must come to an end. I'll see you guys at the outro. Alright guys, those were the first three videos in the Five Nights at Pinky series from DJ Bit3, and I had a lot of fun with them. The models look great for the characters, the videos are well edited, and both the music choices and the sound design are solid. Our victims, or uh, employees rather, here were Fluttershy, Pinky, and Twilight, as well as poor Dr. Hooves. I wonder who would be next. I'd love to see Derpy. She would be highly effective, she could track two entrances at once. DJ Bit3 did well capturing the atmosphere, with the twitches, the static, the flickers, the lighting of course, and especially the quiet moments before the big scare, the calm before the storm. The first video was a little more lighthearted and things got progressively darker. The third one felt a little more in tune with playing the game, especially without a background song. I enjoyed all of them though. I can't attest to the accuracy maybe of the crossover, of how it touches on the lore, 
because I'm not really familiar with it. I was never big on Five Nights as a game series, though I do appreciate the gimmick, and Scott Cawthon was really clever in the way he implemented it. And I appreciate even more that we get these sorts of crossovers from it, because Ponies and Grimdark is a pretty cool combination, actually. Thank you, DJ Bit 3 for putting together these delightfully creepy animations. You did a great job, and I look forward to seeing what else you have in mind. Everyone else, thank you for watching. Until next time, remember...